Success is about understanding your customers and over delivering to them. It's about being disciplined, focused, and never losing sight of your goals. Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Terrell with the Wild Humphrey and welcome to another episode of Failure is Knowledge. If this is your first time here, make sure you like, subscribe, and wait towards the end to leave a comment because today we're speaking about Magic Johnson and, and how he developed a plan for his life. Learning what a plan is will help us grow to our success, help us grow to our dreams, help us accomplish our goals that we would like to achieve. Learning the plan is so important because when you set up the plan properly, you know what steps that you need to take in order for your dreams to come true. One thing that I learned about Magic Johnson is that he was able to adapt to his plan because his plan was already made. Your plan is not going to go as you think it's going to go. It's going to go as you move. It's going to go as you grow. And as you're growing and pivoting, you have to learn how to adapt to change. Magic Johnson was one that adapted to change. The reason why we speak about Magic Johnson today because he's showing what it takes to believe in yourself. Now he's a billionaire because he believed in, believed in himself years ago. He believed in himself before he, he even accomplished everything that he accomplished. But there's a process behind it. The plan was to get out of Michigan. And when he got out of Michigan, he became a, 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 a NBA star for being a point guard. The plan was to get out of Michigan and the plan got redeveloped as he grew over time. The reason why this quote is so important because success is, is about understanding your customers and over delivering to them. It's about being disciplined, focused, and never losing sight of your goals. In order to recognize that, we have to start with ourselves. Magic Johnson started with himself because he, he created a plan for life. First point I'm going to hit on is that we have to learn how to create the plan that we would like to follow. Magic Johnson knew that he wanted more, but how can you want more if you never saw what more was? It's dreaming, it's learning, and it's working hard. He was one that worked towards his dreams. You just can't have a thought and not do anything about it because when you think of something, it's, it can easily be disappeared. It can, it can easily go away because of the action that's not being taken. I, I, I remember watching this one video and Magic Johnson did. He was getting inducted into the Hall of Fame and he was like, Larry Bird, he was like, you are the player that's supposed to be in the, in, the, in the NBA. He was like, when I knew you was working out, I wanted to go work out as well. Five to six hours a day. That work ethic can't be it can't be described. That work ethic can't be taught because it has to be in you. The plan has to be developed. And once the plan is developed, we're able to change and grow along the journey. The journey is going to be one that's going to teach you more about yourself. And once it teaches you more about yourself, what are you doing to understand it? What are you doing to create yourself? What are you doing to, to learn more about it? It takes time and also takes effort. Magic Johnson was one that was creating a plan. And even though his plan, didn't, his plan was being developed, he was able to change as he was growing. That's why it's so important to recognize a plan is just a, a, a starting point. We have an idea of what we would like to do, what we would like to go, what we would like to accomplish because we thought about it and sat down and really and put, put some time and effort into it. Because a plan only gets accomplished when it's really understood and learned. That's why starting with self is so important. Imagine Justin started with himself because if he can't be the best him, nobody around him can be the best. Because it, it, it takes focus. It takes determination. What, what Magic Johnson say? It takes focus, discipline, and, and never lose sight of your goals. Your goals is something that's going to push you when the plan gets destroyed. When your, when your plan has to be changed and it has to be developed in a way where you can handle the pressure that's coming towards you, that's coming for you. It's not a punishment. It's, it's here to help us grow. Magic knew he needed to work hard every single day because when he worked hard, his teammates worked hard with him. Why? Because he made another statement that was so, so great, so perfectly said. You can't create change unless you have success. 
<laughs> and it's so important to recognize when you start with yourself, with yourself, what plan are you creating for yourself? What plan are you looking to chase? What goals are you looking, looking to accomplish? Because even though you have a desired direction that you would like to go, it would never go as you planned. It would never go as, as, as it's mapped out and, and how the blueprint is, 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 is customized because it takes time. It takes time. One thing that Magic Johnson had was that he had time and with the time he had work ethic. With us, we have to develop the time and work together within ourselves to continue to work on ourselves, to continue to put ourselves first. And as we putting ourselves first, we learn that it is important to chase our goals, to never lose sight of our goals, because our goals is what create the plan because we have a dream. Magic had a dream to be in the NBA, to be a businessman, to, to be a CEO. And he dreamed it before he even accomplished it. The, mind, the power of the mind is so powerful. We have to understand we can become what we think if we're willing to work towards it. That's why this topic, this, this video was so important because Magic Johnson was willing to work towards his goals. He never lost sight of them. Never lost sight of them. Never lost sight of them. And him not losing sight led him to be a billionaire today. Why is it so important? Because your dreams carry your plan. Your plan, when, they, when you have to recreate it, restructure it, you start with the end goal in mind. What is the end goal in mind? He said when he was, as he was playing basketball, he was 110% committed. As he was committed to basketball, he, he became the best point guard with the Lakers. And as he became the best point guard, he knew he needed to work hard every single day to not only prove to others, but to prove to himself. That's what work ethic comes from. That's what effort comes from. Proving to yourself that you can do it. If you're willing to put that work in. If you're willing to learn more about yourself. So as you're learning more about yourself, it's putting you in position to, to achieve and accomplish the plan that you have laid for yourself. One thing that Magic Johnson says is that when he was playing basketball, he was 110% committed. And then during his off season, that's when he started learning about businesses. That's when he started learning about business because he knew he can play basketball forever. So what are you going to do after you get done playing? What are you going to do after you get done being the best? Does the best retire or does the best get better? That's why it's so important to recognize you get better with time if you decide to get better. Magic wanted to learn about business and him learning about business made him help him become a billionaire. See, learning the skills is so important because the plan is created from the new knowledge that you have. Magic knew that he needed to adapt to change and change was, was not going to wait for him. Change was going to come because as it's coming, we have a choice to work with it rather than against it. Next point I want to hit on is understanding yourself. Learning how to understand yourself helps you, helps your plan come to life. Because as you're learning how to understand yourself, you understand others. You are more open to learning information that you never heard of or, or that you might have seen before because it, 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 you, you've studied and researched on it. Business is something that has to be studied and learned because as it's studied and learned, that's when we identify that the knowledge is helping us become more understanding. Because now as we're understanding, we know the problems that can be solved. Magic Johnson knew the problem that he wanted to solve in the urban community, in the minorities, because he put time and research and effort to be comfortable with the knowledge that he was learning. It took time and yet Magic invested that time into himself, into himself to never lose sight of his goals. We have to do research. Magic Johnson was doing research during his off season. He was speaking to the to other business people, other business men and women. He was doing research that's going to help him be in a better position for tomorrow. A plan helps you be prepared for tomorrow because it helps you learn how to understand your current situation. Your current situation can't change if you're not willing to put the effort into yourself. 
effort is a choice. It has to be considered. It has to be believed. It has to be felt and understood because when we believe within ourselves, now we know what, what direction we would like to go. Magic Johnson knew the plan was always to be was to always give back and, and to provide and to be successful. But you can't provide and be successful if we don't understand ourselves. He learned the importance of, of, of time and effort and hard work because the same skills that he had on a basketball court. He has it in the business world because the business world is his everyday goal. Your goal has to be in front of you and your plan is going to help you never lose sight of it. As you're never losing sight of your plan, your plan is helping you be in position to create the desire that you're looking for. Your dreams have to be felt. I remember in this movie, Sharkboard and Lava Girl, Shark, Sharkboard and Lava Girl, it was a dream. It was a dream. The whole point of the, the movie was them to dream. They dreamed. They dreamed success. They dreamed bad. They dreamed good. They dreamed the world ending. And they also dreamed the world coming to peace. It starts with the thought. Magic knew that it starts with the thought. And he understood that effort has to match the thinking. Because if the thinking is not matched, you can't adapt to change. You can't adapt to, to, to your plan because your plan is not going to be as smooth as we think it's going to be. Why? Because it's so important to recognize that your plan is, is here to help you start. And as it's helping you to start, you have to understand that it takes time. It takes time and it has to be learned. Magic put the time into himself to learn more about his journey, learn more about his dreams, to learn more about his goals and everything that he wanted to accomplish. It takes research. It takes time. It takes communication. It takes effort. We have to be willing to be uncomfortable with the knowledge and the, and the plan that we want to uh, uh, achieve because as we're achieving this, we're becoming the best us. We're becoming the best us because we're learning more about the path and the plan that we're creating for ourselves. Creating a plan helps you start. And as you're starting, it helps you chase your dreams and goals because your direction is not going to be as smooth as, as you think it's going to be. It's going to be bumpy. It's going to be curves. It's going to be hills. It's going to be incline declines. But you're going to get to your plan because your goal never lost sight. You never lost sight of your goal. That's why it's so important to recognize that it takes time. It takes understanding. It takes willing to learn what you need to do, what you need to learn, and what you need to research. Magic, he, he invested that time. He invested that time to be as successful as he is today, just like he was on the court. It takes time, and him putting time into himself created the success for today. Last one I want to hit on is that he's an advocate for minority representation. Oh, he's an advocate. He's advocating for minority representation. And what this means is that he's showing other minorities that they can do it as well. He's showing other people that you can believe in yourself. But when you believe in yourself, now you have a, an example, someone to follow, someone to follow the footsteps in. Because if they can do it, if he can do it, why can't we? Are you willing to put the work in? Are you willing to learn and do the research? Are you willing to put more time into yourself to, to become more understanding of everything that you would like to achieve? Your plan has to be made for yourself. And as your plan is made for yourself, the outcome will present your goals. Because your goals is something that you're always achieving and chasing because you never lost sight of them. The quote that Magic Johnson said earlier that I, that I spoke about it, that he mentioned, it was it was so powerful. It was so powerful. He said success is about understanding your customers and over delivering to them. It's about being disciplined, focused and never losing sight of your goals. He's 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 advocating for minority for he's he's advocating for minorities to show if you understand yourself, now you know how to over deliver to your customers. Why? Because you know what you like and you know what type of research you need to look for in order to, to mix the two, 
because the change start with yourself. Magic knew when he had the Starbucks, change started with him because he had to do the research, research and the study. And he over delivered because he had the knowledge and the data and everything that he put time and effort into because he understood. He understood himself and he, he also recognized where he needed to, to begin. A plan helps you start. And as it's helping you start, it's following a, a path that's going to be redirected in a way that's going to help you more in life. And as it's helping you more in life. We have to be okay with our effort. We have to take more action today for tomorrow because the action that we take today is being multiplied. It's not been, it's not been added. It's been multiplied because the more we do things, the more we get better. As we're getting better, our goals are getting accomplished because we never lost sight of our goals. Understanding that, understanding that my, Magic Johnson is laying a blueprint, a blueprint that he's laying we all can follow if we all if all of us are willing to put the work, study and time in it. It's so important. It's so important to recognize that because as he's advocating for minorities, he's showing how it's possible. He's showing how it's possible because he started with himself. And as he started with himself, he learned how to over deliver and bring more value to people, to his customers that he, that he was serving. Why? Because it's so important to learn who you are serving and when you understand yourself. First, you have to understand yourself and what plan you would like to create for yourself. As you're creating your plan, be okay with change. Be okay with redirection because redirecting is, is directing you in direct. Redirection is redirecting you in the correct direction for yourself. Be okay with understanding yourself because as you're understanding yourself, you learn how to over deliver. You learn how to bring more value to people and your customers that will help them later on in life. That will help them as you're serving them because you understand what they need, what they like, and what they will, 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 will prefer. Because you did your research, you did your studying, you did your, 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 your talks with people that are this, in this field of business. Because now he's advocating for minorities to show it's possible and it's only possible when you work towards it. That's why it's so important. That's why it's so important to create a plan. That's why. Because your plan helps you never lose sight of of your goals. If you if you got value from this, leave in the comments down below on the plan that you are going to create for yourself. And is and is learning the plan. It's learning yourself and it's being okay with working extra hard for your goals because your goals is something that should never be lost. Your goals is something that should never that you should never lose sight of. Because you become the best and as you're becoming the best, your plan helps you redirect in different ways is going to help you grow. If you enjoyed this video and want to watch more videos how to personally develop within yourself, click this video right here. And I'll see you there.